Minlian Permanent Lighting, brought to you by Christmas Light Contractors. This video will show you how to install your WEC 3 control box for the Minlian Permanent Lighting System. Unlatch the lid on the control box and remove the contents inside. Remove the QR codes, the hardware, and the antenna. Attach the antenna and you're good to go. Flip the control box over and attach the hardware to each corner on the back of the box. You will need a Phillips screwdriver to do this. The brackets can then twist vertical or horizontal in order to mount them exactly where you need. Next, connect the strand of lights to the box. This is going to be very important in order to test and ensure everything is going properly when setting up the control box. The connection is keyed, so be sure to line up the connectors, twist the lock nut, and then you're good to go. You have lights attached to your control box. Next up, mounting the control box to a structure. Find an appropriate location to mount the control box. You're looking for an outlet as well as a place that you can hide a spacer cable going from the control box up to the lights. Check your connection on your phone or your iPad to ensure that the Wi-Fi you'll be using has full strength. Use four exterior rated screws to mount the control box. Once the control box is mounted, ensure that the door in the control box can be opened and closed without obstruction. Additionally, make sure the antenna is pointed outwards. Next, just grab the power cord and plug it into the outlet. The light in the control box should turn green, indicating that it's functioning properly and getting power. It's time to interconnect your controller with your home or business Wi-Fi. In the settings menu on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device, select the Wi-Fi option. Look for the WEC Wi-Fi. It will start with WEC dash and then four digits after. Select the WEC Wi-Fi and connect to it. Once connected, open up the Pixel Dancer app. If you receive a prompt about how your app found a wet controller, click yes. You won't always receive this prompt. Other times you will receive a prompt about connecting your WEC to your network. Hit the X at the bottom if you receive this prompt. Before moving forward, you want to ensure that you are connected to the controller. Start clicking the color wheel and see if the lights change colors. This is very important before moving forward. If you do not have control of the lights, anything you do beyond this point will be null and void. Ensure that you have control of the lights. Next, locate the gear symbol in the upper right hand corner. This is your settings button. Click on the settings button. Halfway down on the right side is a network mode button. Click this network mode button. Ensure that you have three fields that pop up. If only two fields pop up, you need to close the app out and start over. The first field is a Wi-Fi name. Just enter the Wi-Fi name that you're going to interconnect with on your house. Then enter the Wi-Fi password. The WEC name is very important for servicing purposes only. I recommend your company use the same WEC name for all your job sites. Next, there are three options to select, master, client, or none. If you only have one control box, always select none. Tap Reboot WEC 3 and watch the green light on the controller immediately. The green light should start flashing and then it should turn solid at some point. If it turns solid, everything is ready to go. Check your Wi-Fi setting on your phone. Make sure you're connected to the home Wi-Fi that you just connected the controller to. Close the app out completely, reopen the app, and start playing around with the lights. If you have control, you've done everything correctly.